hot. Hello you guys. So today I'm just going to be getting my life together a little bit. I have been in quarantine in Melbourne for about three weeks now, maybe four. I actually do not know. Um, And as you can see, I look like a mess. So I have to change that. I have to do something about my life <laughs> because I'm not willing to be a mess anymore. I'm over being a mess. Hey you guys, so it's Leah from the future. I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Kenzie at Home Laser Kit. And you guys can use my special discount, which is Leah50 for $50. I have been obsessed with this. I have been using this since the start of my little quarantine. So it comes in this really cute box. So I have started to see results. Results do show in two to three weeks, but premium long-term results is obviously 12 months. But yeah, I also love how it looks. It's just super cute. It's literally so easy to use. So I'm gonna plug this into the wall. So I just plugged it in. This is how you can tell that it is on. So this little green button at the back, you press that to change settings. And the settings are at the front there. You can change it like that but as you guys know i just came back from hamilton island my tan is starting to fade a bit but just to make sure i don't put it on a very high setting because you're not supposed to do laser unless you are pretty pale no fake tan i don't have any products on my body right now so i'm going to put it on this setting and then i literally just laser away it's super easy you press this big button to do the laser and i just don't look but it doesn't hurt and it's literally the most easy product it's super fast and yeah as i said i have been using it two weeks and i've already seen results i just noticed that my hair doesn't grow back as fast i have nothing to complain about it's literally just super easy just do it as soon as you shave get out of the shower it takes me like probably not even 10 minutes to do my arms and legs first obviously when i get more pale i will be using a higher setting and that's obviously more powerful if you use a higher setting so i'm just gonna do my legs as well and the reason that i love laser it just gives you one less thing to worry about i hate waxing i hate anything Painful. This is literally not painful at all. I can't even feel it. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's just a little bit warm, but it's not painful. It's super easy. It's super fast. And I only have to worry about doing this once a week after I shave. And it just really keeps my results maintained, as I said. So yeah, that was literally super easy. I'm just gonna turn it off. And now I'm literally done. I don't have to stress and I don't have to worry about my hair growing back all thick and fast. It's smooth. It's also kind of nice because it's a little bit warm. And yeah, I love that it is time and cost saving. If you don't feel comfortable going to an actual laser clinic, it's perfect because it's a one-time price and you don't have to, you know, keep on paying for it. It's fast, it's easy to use. Your hair will grow back less and less thick, less and less fast. And I just think it's a great investment personally. I do not have any tattoos so make sure you don't go over tattoos do not go over moles or freckles and yes there is a little booklet that it comes with that can help you so people with dark skin they can use the at home laser kit and yet with my discount code leah50 you will get an amazing discount of $50 as i said so the price used to be $229 but now it'll be $179 so anyways i'm gonna just let this sit here and cool down it's actually like boiling water but yeah i'm gonna quickly open a package Is this for me? Oh my god. Oh no. Well, it is for me. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave this. I was gonna say, I don't know if I should leave this in because someone please tell me what that looks like. <laughs> I was like, who ordered this for me? This is skin pod applicator. Ooh, I'm very confused. Okay, what is going on? Is this on my face? Okay, I'm gonna go figure this out later because I have no idea what I'm doing. This was a nice surprise of a little package. Okay, so I'm gonna continue letting this cool down, but I'm going to go upstairs and start my little journey of trying to look a bit better, take care of myself, and go up. I'm now upstairs and I'm just getting my hair out of my face. Okay, so I usually get my face threaded, but I have not been able to. And last year in quarantine, because this time last year I was in quarantine as well, I made the mistake of waxing the sides of my face. I used to get away with it. I don't know what happened last year, but it made me break out. And I think in the winter time, I kind of suffer with deep acne in here. So it's very frustrating. So I'm just gonna wax the places where I don't break out in, such as my moustache and my eyebrows. I pluck under my eyebrows 
because it's just too hard for me to wax above my eyebrows. So, as you can see, I grab strips and I cut them up. I get a little strip like this and I warm it up in between my hands and it's super easy. And doing this kind of just gets rid of all the little baby hairs of my eyebrows and all that jazz. So I put it like that and I rub it in. But like whatever you do, do not leave it for too long because I'm, I have a story to tell. Story time. Oh. So back when I was 13, my mum didn't let me shave my legs because she was like, it makes your hair grow back 10 times thicker. I'm like, you know, what everyone says. But I hated waxing because it was just so painful. I couldn't deal with the pain. Anyways, so one day my mum was waxing my legs because if you think I'm ripping that off myself, like you're absolutely incorrect like that. It hurts. Anyways, she was waxing my legs and I think she was doing some like other tasks and she left the wax on my legs for too long. It was like a strip like this. And then she rips it off. My skin comes off with it. I don't know how. It was only like a really thin layer of skin, but oh my God, I've never waxed any part of my body apart from my face since that day. And I never will. And also that was kind of like a good excuse for me to like start shaving. And I've done that before in my face, I think. Like I've left it too long and then it leaves like a drip of like no skin. So I just kind of make sure that I leave it on long enough just to get a bit warm. And then I rip it off. And like, you can't really see, but it's literally all just little baby hairs. But I have been like hating my life, not being able to get my nails and toes done and all that. It's just so good. It tastes like a real bubble tea. I don't think bubble tea is good for you. I don't really care. But yeah, I'm going to talk about what kind of stuff I do when I'm not in lockdown to keep myself feeling good. So I'm going to include some clips that I took before lockdown. But I started getting my lashes done with Be Lashed by B. She's really, really, really good. She did my lashes beautifully. They lasted amazingly. And I just felt so glam when I was on holidays in Hamilton Island. And I'm definitely going to get my lashes done when this quarantine is over, especially in time summer i feel like fake lashes are just everything for summer and then i got my nails done with of course vicky i always go to her she's amazing she will for be the best nail artist and i also got my lips done by the amazing steph at radiance inject it's been a while though so my body definitely dissolves filler very quick but i'm definitely still on my journey i just started filling my lips again because i got them dissolved although they look really beautiful and natural i still want them a little bit larger so I'll definitely be going back there. But I love her. She's amazing. She does a really good natural job. But yeah, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to go over and unplug underneath my brows as well as <laughs> any stray hairs that I have left. But honestly, I plug my brows maybe once a week. My eyebrows grow super fast. Okay, so now that I've done some quick plucking, I'm just going to pull my brow hairs up and just trim them. I think I did this recently, so they're not very long. Just going to give them a little trim. I've been watching The Walking Dead. I'm up to season four and it's really good. Also, oh my God, Money Heist season five it just came out and I'm literally gonna explode in excitementness. Excitementness? Excitement? Excitedness? Excitedness, I think that's a word. Yeah, I'm so excited, but I wanna finish Walking Dead before I start that. But I'm going to use a wax removal thing and just wipe that off my face because I feel like when I just use normal face wash, it doesn't come off. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I have been using for my skincare this quarantine. I'm really happy with this skincare routine that I have. So I take the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. You literally only need a tiny bit because it bubbles up on your face and I really like the packaging. I'm just gonna rub this in, wash my face quickly. So if you take a bit of water off with that, it starts to bubble. And not bubble, it just like kind of, what's the word for this? Foam? I don't know, but it does this. Like I think the first couple of times I used it, I used heaps and my face was just a huge bubble. Yeah, I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, this isn't a part of my everyday skincare routine, but I feel like I have a lot of dead skin on my face. So I'm actually gonna grab an exfoliator. I'm gonna use the Elias Skin Pomegranate. Oh, exfoliator. It's definitely a bit too much. And just get in there where all of my dead skin would be. And then I'm just going to wash this off. All right, so now that my face it's exfoliated and clean. I'm going to use a face mask. And you guys, I think I'm gonna have a bath. I have been loving my baths this quarantine. Um, But like, you know, a bath is like a mental self-care thing. I feel like they kind of just make me feel like a wet dog. Um, So I'm gonna have a quick bath, like half an hour at the most. And then I'm going to have a shower and a shave. And then I'm going to finish off my skincare because obviously I have to finish it off after my shower. I will be selling my bath water. I'm joking, I definitely. Won't. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish putting on this mask and I'll see you in the bath. So I am now in the bath. <laughs> this is what 
what I enjoy doing in my spare time. I feel like it just makes me feel relaxed. It makes me feel calm. It makes me forget about everything that I have to do. But you guys, I was thinking of talking about this before, but I'm like, you know what? It'll give me something to talk about in the bath. So basically, I have never been to a chiropractor and I've been having like lower back problems for like a year now. And my dream has always been to go to a chiropractor because like you see all the videos online and it's just so satisfying. Like I crack my own back and I just really wanted to go. Anyways, I recently went to a chiropractor and it was so different from like what I expected. So it was a lot more like, like detailed. I don't really know how to describe, but it was very professional and he didn't crack my back. Back, you guys but it's fine because i'm going back i have multiple sessions with him but he did some like adjustments and like i already feel a little bit better and he didn't even do that much but yeah the chiropractor was asking me questions like are you disoriented do you feel like you bump into a lot of things like he said just a lot of things that i related to and i'm like how do you know that i'm the most clumsiest person in the world and he was like do you have problems with like always feeling tired when you wake up because apparently, well, with my specific problem, it's like brain related. And that's what we're going to find out next time. Like what I need to improve on brain wise so that my body can improve. But I'm literally like so impressed. Like I also went to a physio last year, but I just feel like the chiropractor, like he was a lot more informed. But yeah, it was a really good experience and I'm so excited to go back. And I was also really scared because like you see there's like chiropractor videos and they're like really rough, but he was really gentle. It was really good. I used to like sit in the bath and watch Rick and Morty on my computer and I would be in the bath for like literally hours. My toes and hands would literally like turn into like amphibian hands. But yes, I'm just feeling so relaxed. Yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy it myself in the bath and then I'll probably be in here for like another 20 minutes, not even. I'm kind of just trying to wind down. And I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna shave. I just shave with like a normal men's razor. Make sure you use men's, it's five blade. And I use baby oil. And I always exfoliate first with like, I have an exfoliating mix. So yeah, I'm going to continue bathing and I'll see you after my shower okay you guys so I just got out of the shower I'm going to show you guys the rest of my skincare routine my skin is already feeling really soft so I'm not going to lie I don't know if this is the correct order in which you do it but I recently got this tone on Fenty Beauty I think you put it on I don't know, but I just kind of focus that in my T-zone. Yeah, again, I don't know if I put that on first. But then I put on the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. After this, I would usually put on Niacinamide. But unfortunately, I ran out. So instead, I'm just going to be putting on Buffet, which has like some peptides and other things in there. And then I have been loving this moisturizer. Anti Beauty, I take like two pumps. It just smells so good. And that is my skincare done. Actually, if you're feeling a bit fancy, I like to use this Alive Skin Ink Pearl Eye Cream. And I literally just put a tiny bit. And that's supposed to help with dark circles and all that jazz. And yeah, that's pretty much me done with everything. I'm feeling nice and clean. I might do my actual hair. I might just straighten it quickly. I did wash my hair last night. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly <laughs> straighten my hair because I look like Skrillex. But yeah, I think it's really good to like, just keep yourself occupied and try to keep yourself busy if you are in quarantine. And it's always a good time to take care of yourself. It's just the little things that make you feel a whole lot better. It takes my mind off of things. Guys, that is me all done, feeling all nice and clean and fresh. I'm feeling like a woman again, not gonna lie. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying this little get fresh <laughs> kind of video. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Leah Holton underscore, and don't forget to use my discount code again, Leah50 at Kenzie for fifty dollars off. Couldn't recommend them more. Thank you so much to Kenzie for sponsoring this video. I will be continuing to use their product and over time I'll keep you updated. I'll let you guys know how everything goes with this little magical contraption. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.